How about a 1929 TB2 conversion? Let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> because uh, I know you're wanting to hear the banjo, so here we go. <laughs> Exceptional banjo bought from a dealer who bought it from the original owner. I don't think the banjo was really ever played. Um, this is a 1929, and a lot of times those flanges are, are pulled up. This one is, is almost not. Very, very little. Wonderful, wonderful banjo. So let's look at it, and of course it's got the original <laughs> Presto tailpiece, the original one-piece armrest, original tension hoop. This banjo had a different five-string neck on it when we got it, and we changed it, uh, but I don't think anybody really played it much at all. And so what it has on it is a Uber neck, and I love Uber necks. Uh, it's brand new neck uh, installed by Steve, and that's very significant because that meant, means that he fit this neck to get the maximum amount of tone and sound. And we just go up the fingerboard here, and you'll just see it's a flying eagle. Beautiful. And I'm going to turn it over. Now, the fours are made of walnut. And walnut is a wood that is used not as much as mahogany or maple, but it has an incredible sound. Okay, so the, the two was a step up from the one, and you can see the resonator's in very nice condition. I mean, you'll see a couple little button scratches and stuff, but it is absolutely all there and uh, in perfect, no, well, very good condition. That is the original finish. Now, we'll take the banjo, take the resonator off, and we see the serial number right there. There you go, serial number. And uh, you'll see evidence of the chalk. A lot of times that, if you clean the resonator, sometimes you'll uh, remove the chalk. And then we look at the inside of the shell, and uh, you'll see the uh, Gibson sticker right there. And uh, when I took this to Steve, he put in an HR30 tone ring. Long story short, I didn't, you know, I just thought the HR30 was just a really good ring like several others. And one day we had about six different uh, banjos. They were all ones, twos, and threes. And some of them had various rings in them, and I'm not going to name them. But long story short, 
compared side by side, the HR30 had the best uh, tone as far as across the entire spectrum. It was much more balanced than the others. So that's, that's it. So if you want to come visit us, we're at BanjoWarehouse.com. BanjoWarehouse.com. You can call Andy at 404-372-5482. And if you do decide to visit us, you know, give us a day's notice. We might be looking for banjos. And also, if you like these, go ahead and subscribe. And you'll uh, get lessons and various things. So you guys have a great day and uh, hope to see you soon.